Hello, music enthusiasts. For thousands of years, drums have been an essential component of human civilization, playing a variety of roles in many cultures around the globe. Here's a detailed look at the origins and applications of drums across cultures. This is only going to take a few minutes, so let's get it started. Number one, Asian drums, the taiko from Japan. In Japan, taiko drumming is both an art form and a spiritual practice. The word taiko simply means drum in Japanese, but the performance is known as kumi deko, involves a group of drummers creating intricate rhythms and movements. Japan has been using taiko drums for more than 2,000 years. They were first employed at religious rituals and then military settings. These great drums are still an integral aspect of Japanese society today, not only in religious rituals, but festivals and live performances. Rising. Number two, the Americas, the conga drum from Cuba. African drums were brought to Cuba by African slaves and are the origins of the conga drum. It developed throughout the 1800s and became essential to Cuban music. In Afro-Cuban music, genres including mambo, salsa, and rumba, conga drums are indispensable. Jazz and other modern music genres also employ them. Number three, the djembe from Africa. Now in Africa, drums are more than just a musical instrument. They are means of communication. The djembe, the goblet-shaped drum, is one of the most iconic instruments of West African music. Originating from the Madinka people of West Africa, the djembe drum has been used for centuries. And its name comes from the Bambara saying, Anke de, Anke be, which means everyone gathered together. Now this beautiful drum is used in various ceremonies, including weddings, baptisms, and funerals. It is also used in traditional dances and storytelling. The drum's rhythms are often complex and can convey messages and represent specific cultural stories. Number four, the pahu from Hawaii. Drum is a traditional Hawaiian drum fashioned with shark skin heads that is carved from coconut trunks and breadfruit trees. Now the Hawaiian word for drum is pahu, whereas the word for coconut is niu. The pahu is one of the most significant percussion instruments known to Hawaii, both ancient and modern, and of the four main indigenous musical types, like wooden drums, knee drums, calabash drums, and bamboo pipes, even though there are many specific types of percussion instruments used in Hawaiian cultural music. And this drum, which is generally played with the palms and fingers of the hand, was considered to be a sacred instrument and was generally kept in the temple and used to accompany a repertoire of sacred songs. And number five, Native American. And let's look at various drums from the Indian tribes. Native American tribes have been using various kinds of drums for thousands of years, and each tribe has its own unique kind and application. For many of these tribes, the drum represents the heartbeat of Mother Earth. Powwows, which are social gatherings that celebrate Native American culture and heritage, prominently feature drums. The steady beat of the drum during these gatherings is believed to bring harmony and balance. Now these drums are utilized in social events, ceremonies, and rituals, and they are revered and thought to serve as a bridge between the material and the spiritual realms. 
The powwow drum is central to the ceremonies, and it's often large enough to be played by multiple drummers. Each beat is a call to the spirits, a connection to nature, and a unifying force for the community. Roja says Native drums are treated like elders, held in the highest regard. We wouldn't leave our elders out in the cold without a blanket. We wouldn't leave our elders alone. You know, we to carry our drum with us, we keep it warm. Indigenous people have been using drums for centuries in ceremonies, celebrations, and spiritual gatherings to communicate with tribal ancestors. Drums are also used to help heal the sick and vulnerable. When we're so across drum, the globe, drums play a vital role in cultural expression, communication, and community. They are more than just instruments, but they are a universal language that speaks to the soul that's connecting us through the power of rhythm. Them. So we've learned that every civilization has its own drum kinds and its own playing styles that are reflected in its customs and social beliefs. And I hope that gaining knowledge about the functions of the drums in the different cultures might help you to appreciate the historic and modern relevance. So thank you for joining me on this journey through the world of drums have more videos coming your way. And if you enjoyed this video, watch this next video on the history of drums. And don't forget to like and subscribe.